Welcome, brave pilgrim, to the Curves tutorial. Curves, for some reason, has the reputation of being the scariest single tool in Photoshop, and I've got to say, it's a little bit undeserved. It's not that difficult to understand, so long as you've got a little bit of background knowledge. Now, first thing you should do, if you haven't done so already, is have a look at our Levels tutorials. There's a link to them on this page. Do those first and then come back. Okay, now that we've done those tutorials, we'll have a better understanding of how Curves actually works. It is, in fact, a souped-up version of the Levels tool. To get to it, I'll first of all add myself an adjustment layer so we can do this non-destructively. So I'll go to my Add Adjustment Layer button on my Layer Palette and put in a Curves Adjustment Layer. And here is the Curves dialog box. To explain what we're looking at, we have to look at this in the terms of what our Levels tool does, and then it'll make a lot more sense. We've got some functions that are in common with the Levels tool, and they are the eyedropper tools for black point, white point, and grey point. They are exactly the same tools. There is no difference in using them. You choose your darkest point, lightest point, and midtone grey, and set them up to make a basic lighting and colour correction. Where it gets a bit trickier is when you want to use this manually. So, step one. How do we control the darkest pixel point manually? Well, we have a line that runs diagonally across this graphic in the middle. It has two points, one at the bottom corner and one at the top corner. Please notice there is a luminosity scale on both vertical and horizontal axes. This should tell you something. If I go on to this point at the bottom left-hand corner, which is effectively the dark pixel point that we're used to in levels, and drag it to the right, look at that. This is the dark pixel point adjustment that we have in the Levels tool. Up the top, we have the white pixel point. Exactly the same function, drag it to the left, and it lightens. So no big difference, it's the same tool. But what about mid-tones? What about our grey point? Well, this is where Curves is different, and also where it's incredibly powerful. In Levels, you have one single mid-tone slider that you can drag on. Here, you place your own mid-tone slider point by a single click on the line, and you can then drag it. And that will adjust the mid-tones in between the two. Now, as you do this, you begin to see why this tool is called Curves. It creates a bent line in a curved shape. The reason why it's a curved shape is this represents the gradation from mid-tone grey to white to black. Now, a gradation should be a smooth flowing curve so that we don't get any sudden jumps in colour or shade. Now, the reason why this is so incredibly powerful is that, unlike the Levels tool, we can put in more of these points. So I can place another point up here, and I can tug on that one, and I start affecting the mid-tones that are only in this luminosity range. That's sort of about the three-quarter strength grey mid-tone range. Now, you'll notice that the curve twitches around as I move on the various points. So it's a little bit more challenging to use, but the principles of the Levels tool are pretty much the same when we use this. I'll just reset everything. That's Alt for PC users and Option for Mac users. And we'll start again. All right, now the thing that makes this powerful is if I want to make changes across very particular colour shades. And the best way to do this is to actually show you a levels adjustment first. So I'll cancel the whole thing and I'll add in a levels layer. All right, now what I want to do is harden up the dark and lights and I want to bring out some detail in this snow background. It's very, very light and not much detail to be seen. So I'll just harden up the dark tones a bit, a little bit of click and drag, a little bit of click and drag on the lights good enough, and I'll now play with the mid-tone slider. Now by darkening up the mid-tones, you bring out lots of detail in that snowy background. Pull it the other way, of course, and you blow them out. But I'm bringing out that detail so I can see it. But here's the problem. I'm absolutely destroying all the detail in my front figures and other areas of the image. So this is limitation. I can adjust the black point and white point again, but I'm not going to recover very much detail.
So it's a limitation. So unless you want to fool around with this and make lots of layer masks to bring out the detail, it's going to be a lot of work. This is where curves it comes into its own. I'll just place in a curves layer. Now this time I'll harden up the dark pixels and this is a disadvantage of the tool is that there's no histogram. So little tip, in your window menu you have a histogram palette. Bring that open and I'll just change this so it's a bit more easy to see. There we go. And it will show you all of the color channels and the luminosity channel for the current image. Now if you've got the screen real estate you can keep that open and use that as a guide. Okay, so I'll just drop in a curves dialog there for my curves adjustment layer. And I'm running out of screen space, but I'm interested in this background detail. So I'll just harden up the shadows a little bit and just lighten the lightest point just a touch. And you can see that the histogram is interactive, so I can use this as a pretty effective guide. And now I'll adjust the midtones. Now to pick out the exact shades that I want to adjust, just move your mouse pointer out from the curves dialog onto the image itself. When you click, you'll see a little dot appear on the curve line. This shows you where this particular shade tone is appearing on the curves line. So I know that I need to have a point about there. So I click and drop it in. Now I'd like this to be darker, so I look at my scale, it says it's about three-quarter strength light and I want it to be darker so I have to drag it down and that darkens up those details. I'm just going to kill off the histogram for the time being if I can which I can't because I've got this curves dialog box open at the same time so I'll just cancel wipe that off and I'll just place in a fresh curves I remember where I've placed that, so I'll just fix up my mid-tone there. Harden up the whites a bit, harden up the blacks a bit. Okay, now where it's becoming a bit too dark, areas down here, again use the eyedropper to select them. Then you can put in a point, and you can then lift it using that scale to make it a bit lighter. Now this is levels on steroids when you're doing this because you're being very specific in the luminosity tones that you're changing the value for. So you're locking down some tones and moving and adjusting others. So what else would I like to adjust? That's all pretty good. I'm pretty happy with most of this. That shadow I might want to just lighten up a little bit. So I'll just lift that shadow. and that's not too bad and I'll say OK. So that's before and that's after a curves adjustment. That's pretty darn powerful. Now one little tip about using an adjustment layer with curves. If you get yourself some strange looking color shifts which can happen when you start fooling around with curves, big tip is to change the blending mode when you're finished. Change it from normal to luminosity. That'll take away any strange color shift and only apply the actual luminosity values that you've placed in with curves. So there it is. That's the introduction to curves and we'll be seeing more of this curve still later on in another tutorial.